Ugh. Hey, we love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. <laughs> and if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not right please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or uplift that you would love to share with a loved one family or a friend to you know to go ahead and send them up that way and just to you know give them a good you know uplift and peace whatever of you know insight please go ahead and do it. it's truly appreciated so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um and my video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas uh, distractions can distract but if you're consistent of your vocal point of focus um, you know everybody has something that they're focused on that they're trying to bring into their life you know there's a lot of different things you're trying to overcome there's a lot of things that you're trying to manifest into your life and we have to understand it's not going to be as simple as just you know walking up and catching it you have to go through a, a journey that is going to be an ultimate destiny for you you had to be able to face a lot of things that you weren't able to face you know it's kind of like a feel factor you know fear factor or whatever you if there's things that you you're in your life that you don't realize that you're fearing you fear the unknown you fear that you may fail you feel like you know you won't be stuck in your servant circumstances then they they always constantly tell you it, it's just like some kind of uh, notification you get you know through the mind or through notifications it's like use your fear to fuel yourself if you know there are certain things that you know you're tired of going through you're tired of seeing you're tired of experiencing they're saying use that is that fuel to keep going you know and use that to be able to do it and, and it's just like a lot of times they tell us you know don't think about how how long the destination is going to be because a lot of times we feel like man i'm gonna have to go through this for another six months man i have to go through and that's where the doubts start coming in you know because we start thinking about how long we got to be on this you know i've been dealing with this for like two years i've been dealing with this for like 20 years i've been dealing for this you know and it's just like you have came so far you've been on on a journey of experiences and a lot of them is like from a lot of people that i'm connected with right now you don't went through some hella fire stuff you know you really have gone through it but it's like you were nowhere near the person that just started that journey you know a lot of times we stay focused on the past a lot of times we it's hard for us to let go of the past because there's so many different things we didn't get answers to we didn't get closures to we didn't get truth we didn't get honesty you know just getting the insight that we felt like we needed and the universe was like you going through that turning point that was the clarity that you're going to get but there's going to be a lot more to to the moral of that story when he feels like it's due fit you know because a lot of times we 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 keep holding on to things that um that we feel like we have you know we have to get closure for we got to get more answers and it's just like a lot of times if if, if it's defeating you if it's disrespecting you is it's degrading you that was the closure that you needed into your life this is that time where you know you're growing that root so that the the tree can be steady at this point and it's just so much stuff that's going on right now where it's like a time is coming about to change because it's just like i keep hearing that song by sam cook called, talking about you know it, it come a change and it is because it's just a lot of things that universe and god is like you can't keep allowing yourself to go through that you know if you're going through a disrespectful situation this is that time for you to decide to do the best thing that's best for you you know everybody doing what's best for them you know you are, you're allowing yourself to make time for people that are not making time for you or you trying to make yourself available for people that don't take you know take the time out of their busy day to you know to be available for you because it's like a lot of things with us being empaths a lot of times we our kindness is being used for weakness and it's just like that's your biggest strength because a lot of times people see that that goodness is your biggest strength because you have seen a lot of things you feel a lot of things deeper and a lot of things is trying to destroy that 
and you know and it is just like they're telling you to keep the eye on the prize and you are your prize it's not something that is attached to you on a uh, exterior but this is something that's internal you know um in internal it's like everything they're telling us to do is like go within this is the thing that's going in within we always searching for within people we search through money we search through sex we search through all these different things when they're telling us everything you need is either on its way to you or it's already within you all you have to do is just allow yourself to find it you know i look for my stuff every day i, I search through within every day i just keep a lot of time to myself to just be able to you know um you know, understand myself a lot more. You know, you're going through things and it's just like we're going through a purge. When I see it, it's like a vacuum. You know, everything is just getting sucked out. It's not meaning to be there anymore. Or it's just a lot of things where you're looking like, I'm so tired of this and I'm tired of myself. You know, there'll be sometimes you, you get so mad you stop talking to your own self like I'm tired of you. <laughs> you know, you and you tired of yourself because there'll be certain things that you know that you 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 it was hard for you to be able to get over from before and now it's just like it ain't nothing now but there may be certain things that you are still struggling with the universe is saying that's okay you're not dealing with this by yourself you're not dealing with this while you're alone you know you have your days where you good there'll be some days where it's guiding you to be in that solitude there's times where it's telling you you have to take care of yourself you know there's times where it's telling you, you need to get back on the ball you know you being too lenient with where your time is going at you know and it, it's just at that time where you know they you know when they're telling you to to uh get towards yourself they're telling you to search within whatever clearance is getting there you, you're starting to, to know more about yourself on a broader perspective about a broader spectrum on different things that's taking place with your life but you know when you're allowing yourself to stay focused on that using your fear you know you know as your fuels like you know what you you don't want to no longer deal with you know there's different things that you can know your soul will no longer allow you to tolerate and when you do it gets to that point where it gets very disruptive in your life to where you're disappointed you're disrespected or you're just upset like i know you didn't it's like yes they did so what's your choice on doing with it don't be combative. You just do what you need to do. Everybody doing what's best for them. You do what's best for you. You know, and this is what you need to do. And don't feel like you can't make it on your own. You know, and it, there'll be different times where I felt like I can't make it on my own. I see you've been on your own for a long time. You just didn't know it. You know, and a lot of times we, I felt like, and I've heard other people see that. And it's like when I said it, and there'll be a lot of times it's crazy because we would be searching for the answers. And we would connect to other people. We find the answers within ourselves. That's why they say that. Because a lot of times I've heard people say, Rosalind, you know, I had people block my blessings. And it was just like, it wasn't blocked. It's just you weren't in that full alignment for that. Nobody can't block nothing that's for you, you know. Um, if there's somebody who turns their back on you, no, it's not about that. That was redirection. And a lot of times that can give us a sore, you know, like we, we, we don't like losing like that. We don't like being defeated. But a lot of times you have to understand, I had to be able to learn that. That wasn't a defeat. That was a big win. <laughs> okay, that was a big win. Because if it's something that's going to be in your life, this is going to make you sore. You know, because there will be two different things in your life. It, it, there could be an impact that's going to impact you in a negative way. That's going to make you look at all life differently. And, and then that can go two different ways. It's all about choices we choose to make. That choice, something can hit you and make you look at life and make you bitter. It can make you uh, very negative. It can make you very volatile with yourself, docile, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, diabolical, that's what I was thinking about. And it can make you that way, especially whatever entities you're dealing with. Or you can see that as just like, you know what, I've been down in the dumps. I allowed myself to be available. I allowed people to walk all over me. I've been this garbage can. I've been this doormat. I've been this. And it was just like, now it's time for me to do what's for me. You know, let me allow myself to hold boundaries. Let me allow myself to, you know, to say no. Let me allow myself to have that time where I don't have to answer the phone. I don't have to, you know, um, answer my text. You know, if somebody come knocking at my door, I don't have to answer that. You know, let me take this time out for myself. When you're starting to hold more respect and love for yourself that you were giving to people that wasn't reciprocated, you'll start seeing a lot of things change. You know, when you 
are they always tell you when you're thinking about something positive you're trying to bring out something positive you can't do it around negative energy you can't do it around negative people and there there'll be different times where if somebody when you have this vibration about you it can be very irritating to a lot of people you know and it's not being funny about that but it can be very irritating to a lot of people to where it just disturbs them because it's like it is like when you are are in your truth suit there's a lot of people that's on on that cover of denial on the cover of lies on the sub deception they 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 worried about how people see them how they're being perceived worried about being judged worried about how people think you know think of them or whatever and you're allowing yourself to grow in your truth there there's just people that if if it's like that their energy and it's not the person it's the energy that is wrapped up into that frequency that they hold that is just that they're they're not in that vibration of being in denial so it's just like when you're wanting to be around them like that it's just your energy is not vibing on that same energy. And it can be, in a way you can be able to tell, you'll know, um, and I, I felt this, there'll be people, like I used to talk about this before, um, there'll be people that I used to hang with, that I used to drink, you know, when I used to smoke, you know, uh, marijuana at times. And I could see them now. And I'm like, hey, you know, like, oh, girl, can we hang? I'm like, no, I don't, you know, I really don't do that no more. I said, I don't know what we'd be doing because I don't drink. They'd be like, girl, did you turn Mormon? No, I just don't do that no more. It's not the fact that I look down at people that do that. But it's just like, I, I don't do that anymore. I don't have that in common. You know, my frequency is on something different. It ain't about gossiping, seeing what's on the reality shows. And, you know, somebody bust a head on World Star Hip Hop or Jerry Springer or, you know, Steve Wilkos. I'm all about, you know, meditation, you know, raising my frequency, raising my bars. What am I, you know, what is my goals? You know, what is two year goal? What is my two year, you know, my five year set? You know, what am I trying to do? And it's just like you'll notice that change within yourself even though there's a lot of times we feel like I'm not where I'm at so I'm failing no it's not you in the mid of a conquer you know and I had to think about that with myself you in the mid of a conquer you're going through a lot of different change will make you feel like you're unstable you know things are being unstable with you and it doesn't have to be you but it's like your life within a whole feels unstable and it's just like it's going to a rearrange to get a line like I was telling y'all the other day you're going through a rearrange to get a line so these are the different things that's taking place into your life where they're placing distractions in there when you are not being distracted by that distraction you gonna allow yourself to say okay I'm trying to get focused on this business. So a lot of time I got to get into a new mindset. There's a lot of people that either want to throw distractions on there because they see I got that mindset to be able to make this happen. Or there are different people that have killed their dreams. So they're trying to sit up here and tell you this ain't going to work. Never take advice from somebody who ain't chasing something, you know, other than a skirt or some drawers or somebody else's wallet. You know, something like that. You know, you you trying to build something with your life. You trying to, you know, expand something and see a life that is very nurturing. That's going to leave a legacy for you and, you know, your children if you have children or, you know, you're thinking about having children. And it's just like you're going to have these many distractions in your way because it's just like these distractions are going to teach us something. These are the things that we're learning from life lessons. And a lot of times it's hard for us to see, especially because you're not dealing with little petty things. There, There's like big things that you're dealing with. And it's just like, you know, if you only got one thing that's going on in your life that's really rocking your boat, God bless you. You know, and I'm sending so much good energy towards you. But there's a lot that I'm sending a handful, like an airbender type situation. Just like putting my hands like this. Because there's some folks that dealing with five or six things at the same time. And it's just like, I don't know if I can deal with this, you know. I don't know if I can make it. Yes, you can. There's a lot of times, even if you don't make, you know, a big deal about posting different things that you're doing. You do, it, it's telling you to quiet your mind. You know, make sure you're keeping what you're doing to yourself. You ain't got to post what you're doing. It's like when you get straight to that, that situation where you know you're about to explode. Do it after, you know, you everything is look, hook, line, and sinker in, in concrete because it's just like there's so much energy that's out there that is not wanting to see you prosper. It's not wanting to see you soar. It doesn't, it wants to see you in misery. It wants to make sure that you, you stay in, 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 in struggle. 
So it's like when you're doing things like that, allow the enemy to assume whatever. Because a lot of times the enemy is your distraction. You know, you got a lot of people that's watching you. There's a lot of people that could be in your circle that ain't in your corner. You know, and you have to be able to understand that. But these are different things that's going to come into your life. And it's just going to be at that point where you really going to appreciate those different struggles you came in. Because that's what it gave you a tear to top on top of that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I have not answered some of your, um, well, I haven't answered nobody's uh, comments. So I do apologize. I just decided to do a video at the last minute. So I hope that you were able to resonate with this. Like I said, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. There's a lot of people that connect with me um, that is uh, that don't feel comfortable with leaving everything on here, which I truly understand. So they always hit me up on email or something like that or on IG. And, you know, I help them out the best way I can. Whatever we speak on is confidential. And I also leave my link to my um, my podcast as well as if you feel generous enough to give a donation. I'll also leave my, my cash app as well. So I hope much love to you. Please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as well as you're getting to know me. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.